There was a time when power meant only manpower. A nation without men perished. A man without a son was cursed. But he passed on the curse to his hapless woman. to the woman who could not bear a son, for without a male issue she was worthless. To be born a woman was itself a curse. But times changed. Man shifted his life from the pastoral to the industrial. In his avarice, he employed women at a pittance. This gave the women hope and courage. And then they dreamed of the days when they could be free. madly on in his rush for wealth and power, the woman found herself more in demand, and she dreamed of equality. they had been told, but knowledge was greater power. They strode hopefully into the unknown realms of the mind. Their awakened spirit could no longer be held under the spell of man. Thank you. 
am 50 now and about to retire. So naturally I thought that I should like to have a son to look after me in my old age. And so also the question of uh, emotion, so to say, comes in to carry on the name of my family. Yet, with many, old sentiments prevailed. He hoped again and again to be blessed with a son and often gained yet another daughter. The daughters were undaunted. Knowledge was greater power. They entered every preserve of man. The world was theirs too. And rightly so. In almost every field, they compete with men. They are indispensable. Yes, I also feel I should have one son. Because who will look after me when my daughters will go to their respective places? But what is the guarantee that the sons will look after us in our old age? But, but we know certain cases where they are not happy with son and uh, daughter in laws Who looks after you? Bedi Ledki. Our English is not better. We are staying with our eldest daughter. Are you happy? Quite happy. Because you see, a lot of people like to stay with their sons. Maybe, but in my opinion, I think we are being looked after by our eldest daughter and husband quite nicely. Besides, I think it's not a correct thing to expect our children to look after us in old age, isn't it? I think they shall be happy. Don't you want another child, maybe a son? No, we don't find it necessary. Why? We are quite content with the two we have and we don't wish to increase the family and give less to a larger number. Our daughters are growing up wonderfully. Given the same opportunities, they will be keen competitors for our sons. Their ambition and self-confidence are admirable. Like Krishnan and Mankad, they want to hit the world headlines. And many do. before them the great women leaders of the past and those who are with us now. In this century particularly, India has produced many women leaders of great eminence. examples for our daughters. Every vocation is within their reach. They are proud of their share in the economy of the family and of the nation. If these were my daughters, I would be proud indeed. A daughter is as good as a son. <laughs> 